Hey guys, this is Rachel on New Year's Eve. I just wanted to really quick do a flip through of this new coloring book that I got. It's Imagimorphia from Kirby Rosanes. I've been very excited to get this coloring book. Every time I see a finished page from this book, I'm like, oh my God, I have to get this book. So with the idea that I'm going to hopefully be heavily featuring this book in my pages for 2018, I thought it'd be really fun to just do a quick flip through of this book, give you guys a little bit of a sense of what to expect, a couple of what the pages look like, and you might even want to get it yourself. So let's get right into it. Now you'll see that this book is very much filled with like random things in this kind of really stylistic collage pattern where there's like waves kind of kind of rolling through them, but you'll have like a flamingo and a pterodactyl and a skull and a robot and a hot air balloon. It's like super random, but super, super awesome. So that's very much what this book is, but it's not, it's not a one note, absolutely not. It's super, super cool. Um, I center this a little bit better for you and I still have to kind of break this in so just keep pushing down the pages but like here's a leopard and a sea lion and a bunny just super cool and then again they're all sort of sort of connected with these kind of finger waves they're just really really cool and you could do whatever you wanted with this from a coloring perspective you could make them waves you could make it like lava you could make it you know just just dirt i mean there's just a trillion things you can make like tree roots you can really kind of again use your imagination to uh really make this whatever you want oh the other thing about this is that it is also a search and find so at the back of the book let me go to the end here there is a key for things that it wants you to find throughout the book. So there's all these little like funky alien creatures, pirate hat, this weeping caterpillar, um, keys, you know, just like totally, totally random stuff that it's asking you to find. And then at the very, very back, there is actually answers. So if you like playing this game, you know, maybe something to do with your kids or something, this could be really fun. But kind of going back, here is the first page. You'll find that a lot of these pages are actually kind of kind of mirrors of each other. Not necessarily a two-page spread, but but very much could be. Um, just really, really cool. There's like a squirrel thing riding a koi fish. And here's one of those cards from the search and find. Um, here's an alien. It's just super, super cool. And again, they're all kind of um, connected in the feathers. I just love how the artist does this. also a lot of this kind of like intricate like mechanical gear work on some of the pages very very cool love this one with the Egyptian theme this is awesome it's like the thinker a horse a dragon fish looking thing just again totally random but totally awesome See, here's a here's a mech work um, butterfly really cool you could go like super like like gun metals and coppers and golds on this you could do a bunch of bright colors fun things to do maybe in the background here lots of options panda there's a lot of kind of Asian themes in here like the dragon um, uh, the koi fish tigers super cool bamboo it's beautiful maybe sparrow I don't really know my birds but lots of cool butterflies and you again you can kind of take this background and maybe do like more of a stream of like colors behind him this is going to be a really fun one I love this page because this is like his and a hers skull very, very mech work, very mechanical, and then this side, all flowers and foliage. This one's awesome. I've seen this page colored a lot with like a black, black sky and then super, super bright water. Just looks awesome. I can't wait to dive into this one. 
Here's a King Kong one. Here's that, here's that weeping caterpillar. Oh, penguins. So cute. Again, these like trails are just filled with like underwater sea creatures. Just so much opportunity for some fun, fun colors and detail work. This is definitely one you're gonna want sharp pencils for. These are like pineapples. These are super cool. Here's a little Viking alien. Spider webs. <laughs> creepy little doll in here. <laughs> Love it. Again, you could do some really cool things in the background with this. And what the opportunity here with this kind of art style, you know how most coloring books kind of just have like, like a very sort of empty line um, outline for its images. These actually have some like detail um, um, uh, ink markings. So like this will automatically give you a lot of texture. If it's not something that you're kind of used to putting in with your colored pencils, this, you know, kind of line work that the artist has, has given us will add a lot of texture to your, to your work. These are really cool. Little mech work bugs. This one's awesome. This one is like all under, it looks like a tree, but it's all underwater stuff. So you could have a lot of fun playing with this. And then again, another really good opportunity to do something fun in the background here. This buck page is super cool too. Like his antlers here are another really cool opportunity to kind of draw in your own design. You can either do something completely on your own or you can kind of mimic the ones in the background here. Just again, another really fun opportunity to kind of play. This one's super cool. Here's like two castles, I guess, maybe one castle, but they're kind of on the edge of this cliff here and they're connected with this bridge. I just think it's super, super cool. But again, all of these kind of little creatures, there's a little alien riding a broom, um, Statue of Liberty, there's like a coach over here, totally random. This one's awesome, bunch of uh, like jackrabbits running. I love doing mushrooms. There's a lot of uh, opportunity to have some fun with color here. Really, really good stuff. I like this little log. Here's some airships, very steampunk. You know, again, you could kind of go with that like steampunk uh, metallic color palette on this and kind of um, contrast it with some really cool blue sky. Oh, I love this page. I just watched Jaws again for the first time in like 10 years. I love that movie. This might be uh, one of the first ones that I do. This is awesome. Oh, here's another opportunity to kind of draw in. It says, uh, fill the stripes with intricate patterns. So they give you a couple here, and then there's all of these ones that again, you could play with, make your own. You could kind of mimic what the artist has already started for you. Super fun. This crane, I love his crown here. He's got all these jewels on him. That's awesome. <clears throat> Here's two uh, robots. Look at all those like <clears throat> pipes and tendrils and stuff coming off of him. Super cool. Oh, I love these. Very nautical. Here's a, a ship's anchor surrounded by some fishies. Compass surrounded by some flowers some insects. These are awesome. See what I mean by kind of like, it's not necessarily a double spread page. You could do this one completely different. You could do this one completely different. But again, they kind of tie in back to one another if you wanted to do this as a double spread. This one's awesome. This bird cage is kind of morphing into these leaves and all these uh, birds and stuff are escaping. There's like, there's like birds, there's owls, there's cranes. Snails. <laughs> These are awesome. And of course, an alien riding a bird. Super cool. Oh, I love this page. I've actually seen um, somebody else color one of these. I just love the way that the jellyfish, um, you know, definitely have their tendrils, but there's also this um, kind of artistic style um, coming off of them as well. This is super, super fun. 
dinosaurs. I'm such a sucker for dinosaurs. This one's definitely getting colored. I am really excited about the opportunity to kind of uh, put in a lot of color. See how see how there's so much detail here. I love this. You know, like some some again coloring books would just kind of have this be like one blank white space, and then you would kind of fill it in as you wanted. You know, again, kind of giving you the opportunity to put in your own texture. But this one definitely puts it in for you. You know, kind of helps you out in that way. So very excited about coloring this one. This one would be fun too if you kind of had like the volcano, maybe some like some more kind of spewing out of it. Maybe make all of these tendrils a little bit more lava-like. This is awesome. Little runaway stagecoach. It's awesome. Leopard with the seal. I think this 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 page was earlier on in one of the title pages. Here's one of the aliens eating the ice cream. Super fun. Oh, this is like a winter scene. There's like a Christmas uh, winter tree here. There's skis, penguins. It's kind of funny how it goes into kind of non-wintery stuff. That's funny. Maybe we could do something with like the seasons on this one. That might be kind of fun. Oh, this one's awesome. I love these sort of like um, Japanese uh, inspired clouds. There's a dinosaur big squirrel. These are awesome. And then camel. Oh, this is so cool. There's like a little city on his back. All these trees with the roots and these temples. This is a great page. Again, another one definitely getting done. And I don't know what happened with his legs here. Hmm, it's kind of goofy. <laughs> I like the stairs kind of going up his up his neck. This is awesome. This is like a butterfly chrysalis with all this stuff cascading out. Super cool. There's a whale kind of going back into the water. Really cool opportunity again to do some, some water and a cool background. Little half organic, half mech owl. Biomechanical, that's what that means. I was trying to think of that word. Oh, cuckoo clock, this is great. Um, yeah, see, these are like sister pages. Again, you can kind of treat them differently or you can do them as a, as a double spread. Very cool. Another kind of mirrored uh, castle. This one's very much underwater. That's really cool. Shark, a bust, awesome. Here's kind of a, a music page with like conch shells. These are awesome. It's like each one, if you can kind of tell, is this like conch shell shape and then all these musical instruments kind of coming off of them. This one's neat. Little snails with like their houses on their backs and they're all different. That is so cool. This one's really cute. Might be, again, another fun opportunity to kind of do something with the background. Oh, here's another kind of fill-in uh, designs of your own on these feathers. That's super cool. Oh, this one's beautiful. I love this fox head. He's beautiful. Really dense kind of jungle foliage. It's wishing well. That's neat. Eagle. See, this one has a ton of texture in it. Little ship. Another airship. These are so, oh, look at the squid with the giant nose. Oh, and this horse mane is awesome. This is so neat. I really like how it kind of mimics that appearance of a horse's mane. Little snails, slugs, caterpillar, birds, mushrooms. Definitely doing this page soon. All right, then again we have the little find items and then in the back you have your key. So this is again, this is the pages of Imagimorphia illustrated by Kirby Rosanes. Very excited, you guys should expect a lot of pages of this in 2018, give you a little bit of a break from the romantic country uh, coloring books that I love so much. Um, so very blah, 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 blah. 
very next video will be something out of this book. So stay tuned. Happy New Year, everybody. So excited to start 2018 fresh, and I will see you guys very soon. Take care.